Hello, welcome back. Last time I did everything that I could to put off doing this room up here because it looked really unpleasant, and now it's my only choice, I think. Because uh, I can't get there from any of those places, and I have to go through it to get here, and I think that's all that I have left. That's a mastery area. That was a secret. Okay. So last time I looked at this, I did not understand exactly where these mimics needed to go. I'm going to be confined to this area. There's a fuse... Actually, you know what? I don't have to light that fuse necessarily if I'm willing to give up this as a square that I can step on. Is there any reason I wouldn't? Why would I want this mud mother alive? The only thing she could do is grow herself. Am I supposed to get a mimic out, stab mud, use it as leverage, and then get it somewhere? I don't see where I would need to get it that might be useful. Uh, or am I supposed to use those bombs to kill these mud babies or something? I don't know, I don't understand. Um, so let me just pick an action that I can take now and see if it makes any sense. Um, okay, this looks like it's set up as a mimic double stab puzzle to get rid of this tar blob. So I think... Yeah, which would let me in there. So it feels like that kind of... Oh, and this is a two-pass room? Okay, fine. I guess that's okay. Uh, yeah, because there's a target. Because there's a target, I don't see any reason still that I wouldn't do this. Okay, so this is a two-pass room. I need to get rid of tar stuff here and here and drop all the trapdoors. Beethro drops these. Mimic number one drops these. Mimic number two drops those. And annoyingly, those both have to happen at the same time. Oh, I see how that is. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that goes there. This goes here. And I really don't see a reason not to do this. I guess I'll preserve my options by doing that. Uh, see, now I've already made a mistake because I have to step we uh, east, uh, yeah, east twice with this guy in order to not... Okay. So if you're kind of trapped in a corner, that's... I would like to deal with a single one of these mimics as much as I can without having to think about the other one. Uh, uh -huh. See, now I'm going to have a problem. Mm. I think I want this. And then this, and then, sure. Something like that. Okay, moving two mimics at once on trapdoors is actually not quite as bad as I predicted it would be. Something has gone wrong here, though. That went wrong, okay, um, but I can't do that. Never mind, this is exactly as bad as I thought it would be. <laughs> yeah. What if I take care of this section now, and just route it this way instead of the other way? Well, then that forces me to do something I don't want to do. <clears throat> no, this is terrible. This is just as terrible as I predicted. I like this arrangement, as long as I don't have to step southeast, southwest, whichever direction that is. That one doesn't move. Let's see if I can keep that going for as long as possible. Uh, those will be only slightly in the way. It's not really a problem. Hey, hey. I don't know a reason to avoid that, but it's something I can do, so I'm going to do it for now. Extra checkpoints for no reason. I guess for the reason that Beethro will be going through here with a mimic there later. Ugh. Boy, looking forward to that. That's going to be even worse than this. Okay, so drop these. I'm glad this happened. Uh, I am going to be forced to break out of it here. But by then, this one is pretty much out of options to screw things up almost completely. There's one more thing you can do that would cause a problem. But I can do it right now, and there we go. Okay, so you are... 
find where you are. So I can focus entirely on this one. Uh, at this point, I'm going to do that. And you're trapped in that section just fine, so I have no need to worry, as far as I can see. Except for that. Okay, so that is a slight problem. Which is solved by doing this, okay? <laughs> okay, drop. Uh, how drop? I need something weird to happen here. Okay, so something weird happened, but it wasn't the weird thing I wanted to happen. Uh, wait, I need to do what? Something. I don't know exactly what, though. Could maybe help? There we go. Uh. Uh. Okay. Trapdoors are dropped. That goes off. That really seems completely harmless, so there was no reason to avoid stepping in that fuse. Why is it even there, then? Trapdoors on ortho squares have a certain simplicity to them that's actually kind of nice. Um, that is one element I do not mind combined with ortho squares. What's going on up here? Serpents are doing nothing of interest. A bunch of decoys. From there, once that's clear, okay. So, is this another two-pass room? I think that's what I'm seeing. Ow. Am I supposed to avoid that happening for some reason? Wait, what am I doing? Um, I just want to use these two orbs, right? Yeah. And I think I do need to kill this for safety to do that. Then I can get in this... this way. Explosion related mishaps. Okay. Now I'm over here in a horrible force arrow maze for some reason. Why does this exist? What? Wait, what? In an impossible force arrow maze? Or. Okay, no, that gets me up there. Oh boy, this sure is engaging gameplay. Ugh. Eh, I've seen worse. That was fine, I guess. Okay, uh... Serpents will be in the way while I'm doing this. Uh... I have to cross there, but I'm not allowed to. So you need to just move. Find some other place to be. There's okay. Oh. I have to kill serpents on trapdoors while I am also dropping those same trapdoors. That's different. Okay, so that will take care of you. If I could actually get in here, but I can't because that one's going to be just permanently over there. This is complicated. I need you to go a different way. If you would stay there, that would be nice. You didn't stay there. That was not nice. 
Because now you're never going to come out of that spot, no matter what. Shoo. Go away. Go away. Go away, snake. Nobody likes you. You're very rude. Okay, there we go. I did it. Kinda. This is a start, but now what do I do? Uh, this. Done. Okay. That was interesting. I don't think I've had to do exactly that in a drought puzzle before. Alright, what all did that do? Open you and you and all of those. So this is... Those are opened by that, which... okay. This is strange. What a weird setup. I would love if you could just be held in place by something like that mud baby, but it's just not gonna happen. Okay, the pattern I used last time with the other Mimic was kind of like that. Yeah, see, this is why I did not want to be doing this this way, because stuff like that happens. All right, let's keep him trapped there, since that worked so well. I can get all the way up to here without freeing him. Mm -hmm. Okay, then this part becomes a lot easier. However, that happens. So, okay, what if I force that to happen earlier? Uh, then that's reversed to that way, but I'll let him out here, which is much more okay. Uh, no it's not. No it's not, because then this happens. Mm -hmm. Mimics. Just the worst. Oh, wait a second. I have some different options here. That's not one of them. Uh, and that didn't help anything. Uh, what I'm seeing is that I can go from here to here, so I can use this trapdoor if necessary. Could I? Maybe. No, once I step on those, I'm just stuck there. And, and then I've... Oh. Okay, so once I step there, I'm stuck there. Oh. What do you want from me? Other than just suffering? That will never work. That will never work. This will never work. So it does have to be this pattern, huh? Last time I did this... Okay, well, yeah, I just got him trapped up there. That was a problem because of the movement pattern I have to use here. Okay, so what if I go across this way instead of this way? Hey, 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 hey. You stay in your cage. Um, doing that would involve stepping southwest. Okay. Well, no, this is the same. I, I did this before. It's, it's no good because of this. Ah, Mimic, you're the worst. Wait a second, hang on. Uh, do I need to drop all the trapdoors? Wait. There's a problem here. I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> I'm doing this all wrong. 100% wrong. Mimic goes there. Because Beethro needs to go through here. Okay, this will be slightly less unpleasant, I think. It's gonna be weirder, though. 
Wait, what? Okay, this is weird, actually. Like I said. Um, if I have to drop all the trapdoors, then these have to go down. Um, hmm. This is problematic. This is problematic in so many ways. Hmm. Okay, there we go. That was what I needed. And then the next part where you can screw up is right here. Uh, not if I don't step east. And then you do that, of course, because because you're a jerk. Mm. So to fix, I need to do this. Uh, yes, that will do it. Maybe, yes, that will do it. Okay. Good. Uh, yeah, B-throw is going to have to... Well, now, hang on. If I don't have a mimic here, how do I deal with this tar... Oh, I see. I see. In a only slightly tricky way. Okay, but I'm forced to do this, which is okay. Except it's not, because then I have to do that. What? What? I can't move you north. I need to move you north and then west. Ugh. How about this? That solves some problems, maybe. Mm, not enough of them. Not enough of them. So I don't even know where this... Th this... Uh, oh! <sighs> this room is every bit as bad as I predicted. Just not in the exact way that I predicted. Clearly it's set up so that at a certain point where B-throw is, the Mimic needs to be at a certain point. What those points are is just clear as mud. And the route through here just has to be felt out. Oh wait, this might make sense. Except it can't. Nope. Nope. It might have, but it doesn't. So this is the same thing I did last time. Can I improve it? It looks the same. There's no difference. I, it doesn't seem like I can advance that mimic any farther than there with a through here. Is it useful that I can move back and forth when I'm down here, maybe? What if I... No. No, it's not. Not unless all I need is east-west moves to complete the, the mimic thing. Is this different, or did I already do this? I think I already did this. Then I'm locked into this pattern, and you go past those which you need to drop. What? I'm going to try again to get the Mimic to a different spot while well, B-Throw's down there. I can't start him over here, right? Oh, maybe I can. Well, that would be a whole lot better. Let's do that. Because then... Well, no. See, then I'm going to run out of moves, because I'll be over here messing with these trapdoors. A rough... Yeah, no, it's going to take the entirety of both of these trapdoor things to, to get the mimic all the way through here. Hey, just 
go there. Are there other routes I can take through this that I haven't tried? Not really. I mean, they all amount to mostly the same thing. I mean, okay, so what about this? I mean, if I step here, I have to step here. And if I step there, I have to do that. No. 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 It's a minor thing, but I wish there were a checkpoint right here. <laughs> so this is the first place where I get the option to move horizontally. Do I take it? Yes, because I want that Mimic to move as soon as possible. So the principle I want to use here is to move the Mimic as far and as quickly as possible. It doesn't work because I get stuck in this situation. Okay, so I'm not allowed to do that. So here's an option. I do that, and then I get stuck in that pattern. No good. Okay, I do this, and then that cuts that off. I do this, and then that, and then that cuts that off. Ah! Ah! So it's like there's just one thing that works here. It's only this. Like, I'm forced to do that. That's, it's, it's exactly that or nothing. It's the only way through. There's nothing I can really do here to get extra horizontal movement, so it's it's going to be like this. Okay, fine. So I confirmed that it's impossible to move this mimic any farther than that. Well, no, I haven't. All of the movement patterns I've tried have not moved the mimic any farther than that on that trapdoor thing once I'm there. Once I'm in here, I don't have a lot of options for movement because I have to just... Oh, th this is the worst. Oh, this is the worst. So it would kind of be nice just to get the Mimic trapped. If I just avoid southward moves for a little while. Okay, there is a slightly different pattern I can follow here. No, there's not. Uh, yeah, no, there's not. No, there's not. Of course there isn't. Hey, wait a minute. This looks a little better. This looks a lot better. Oh, I did something somehow. Why did that work? It didn't, but why did it almost work? So I need a west move after all that? How? How can that ever happen? It can't. There's no way. Due to the structure, it is required that the Mimic walks in this pattern. Since this is a northward move, the only northward move I'm required to make once I'm past this bend, that's where he's going to be. I need to go north 2 and west 1 before I move anywhere else. Uh, okay, idea. Idea. How about this? That doesn't help. That helps nothing. That makes everything worse. There are things I can do differently here, though. Which things are those? That's the same thing. That's the same thing. None of those things could possibly help. Um, what if I left another trapdoor there? And one here? And one here? That's impossible.
but it does kind of seem like I need to take out the minimum number of trapdoors as I go through here, which is... which is that. But then... Then you just stay in place? Or do that? Okay. So you have to move south. I don't have a lot of choices here. I really just don't. This is the point where I look at all of the puzzle and make sure I'm taking the right actions. There are no more Mimic Potions available to me. Those are inaccessible. Beethro does need to go through this. All the trapdoors do need to be dropped, because otherwise he gets trapped there. Doing this... Wait a second, wait, hang on. Here's another action I can take. Aha, this feels good, because then... Uh, no. No, that has the same problem. Can I preserve this trapdoor? Wouldn't help if I could. Alright, what did I do? I went... in here. Well... That's different. I have not necessarily lost this yet. Okay. Seems like that's about the best I'm gonna get. That's not... Uh, that actually might be helpful. I might need... Okay, that might be why this exists. Because... Because this mimic needs to blow that up. That's plausible. Doesn't seem like that's strictly required, because I'll bet Beethro could use this, defend himself... Oh. Oh no, it's this you'd use. Yeah, all that does is open that. I yeah, no, I could totally get from there to there and kill the Mud Mother in time. No, this is unnecessary. Okay, so... Things I want to happen here. I think this is what I want. Nope, nope, it's not. Um, wait, I didn't want to go back that far. Let's see here. You move up. Move over. I can repeat that action. Uh, I can repeat that action like... Okay, I did it. Cool. I would love to say you stay there. The problem is you're going to have to keep moving because I do need all of these dropped by the time I get up here. Uh, okay. Whatever, my baby. Just leave me alone. I'm having enough trouble on my own without you contributing. Okay. Yeah, that's cool and all, but the mimic's not where it needs to be. Great. Great. Of course that would happen. All right, so let's take the approach of moving it as far as possible. How about if I just stay here and keep doing this? <laughs> How long can I keep doing this and have good things happen? A little longer, apparently. Not that long, though. So at that point, I would need to go this way. Okay, I haven't had to leave that area yet. 
I think I might have just found the key. Uh, well, kinda. Uh, yes, that's fine. Or at least a way to make this less unpleasant. Like, this is a magic spot that does magical things. Which are quite nice. Uh, now, in order for this to work, though... Okay, my magic ran out. Um, did it, though? Yeah. Uh, no, uh, yeah. Because I'd have to make that move. Okay, fine. Fine. I'm sure the last few of those can be done while I'm over here. Good. Done. Yay. The rest can work itself out. Cool. Ugh. Uh, okay, so this is a problem. Though with different turn orders, well, we do that. Oh, I think I actually need that mud to grow. And create a safe spot for me? Uh, it will create uncutability in here, so I can't take too long. But I mean, I could go in there and mess with it myself to kind of prevent that from happening. Hey, Mimic, stop doing what you're doing, if you wouldn't mind. I'd actually prefer you not be able to reach that. Okay, that should be just about enough shelter by the time I get back up there. Keep that, that's the blob I need. Uh, yeah, whatever, that doesn't matter anymore. Uh, this is still not quite enough shelter. I guess I need more. Uh, mud babies can prevent that from growing farther than I want it to. Well, they partially can. I just want to sit here, uh, which I can't, because that's not... Oh, that is safe. Eh, uh, kinda. Um, I need mud to surround me, which normally would be a bad idea, but in this case, it should actually be pretty okay. Uh, how's this gonna work, though? I guess like this? Yeah, like that. Uh, not exactly like that. Like... Like, uh, like this. There we go. Uh, there's no target on my way out here, so I should just... Okay, so now the Mimic can make itself useful. These are not brained, so that's not safe. I just experienced something strange. I saw what I was sure was a tar mother blinking, but apparently that was not a growth turn. My eyes are playing tricks on me. Okay. Bye, tar mother, mud mother, whatever you are. You were useful. Now you're not anymore. Okay, worst room in the hole done. Didn't I already have one of those? <laughs> uh, yuck. And looks like I'm done for the day. Okay. Uh, there's another pass of this room that I enter from here. Okay, cool. Uh, so I'll see you next time for this room and whatever is beyond here. I feel like that's going to be the end of the hold, but there's no way to say that for sure. Just, just my guess. I'll see you then.